Welcome to another video. I want to give a shout out to Vlad for emailing me this problem from Romania again. Okay, um, the email was that, well, I saw the last problem you solved and this one looks just like that. Um, just a bit different. We're looking for the floors of the square roots and we're stopping at 2018. Um, could you give this a shot? And Vlad is in ninth grade in Romania. So, um, preparing for math competitions takes different angles. And this is another creative one. Let's get into the video. As soon as I saw the problem, I said, I have to look for a pattern because it's impossible for me to do all of these sums 2018 times in a math competition without a calculator and no program. Okay, so I decided to investigate what makes life easy. Well, if you look at the square root of one, it is one. And the floor of one is one. The square root of two is 1.4142 and the floor of that is one. The square root of three is 1.732, approximately. Okay, I'm approximating. And now I have the four figure table memorized from high school days many years ago. So they never leave me, that's why I know them. And the flow of 1.732 is still one. So you notice that you got one here, one here, one here. But as soon as you get to, two, to four, the square root of four is two, the floor is two, and then that number, the floor stays the same until you get to three. And then the floor starts at three, and then it continues until you get to four at 16. So you can actually build a pattern that the floor of any number you're using, let's say the floor of the square root of one, is just one. And this will remain the same, equals one, equals one, until you get to the square, this, the floor of the square root of four. And then you get two. Now, this continues until you get to the next perfect square, which is nine, okay? You're gonna get three. But the thing is, notice that you had three numbers whose floors were each one. So the floor of all these numbers, one, two, three, was one. The floor of numbers four, five, six, seven, eight was two, okay? So you're gonna have how many of them? Four, five, six, seven, eight, five of them. So it's gonna be five times the floor. When you start with nine and you start doing the square roots, square root of this is, is three, for 10 is three point something. Now you go all the way until you get to 16. How many numbers start from nine and end at 15 just before you get to 16? Well, if you notice, you're gonna get seven of them. Do you notice a pattern already? This is how perfect squares are distributed. So this is three times one, five times two, seven times three. The next one you can predict is going to be nine times five. And that's exactly what you need here. So basically what they're asking you to do is to find the sum of three times one plus five times two plus tap, tap, tap. Generally, it's going to be, look, when n was one, the first term, when n was one, we were multiplying it by two times one plus one. That's what three is. Two times two plus one is five. Two times three plus one is seven. Two times five plus one is nine. That's the pattern that you're generating. So generally we're doing two n plus one times n. That's what we are doing. Now, can you find this and what will be your last n? What will be the floor that this guy will be using? Is 2018 a perfect square? No, 2018 is not a perfect square. This perfect square closest to 2018 is 2025, which is this year. I actually thought of changing this number to 2025, but out of respect for Vlad, I left it. Also, we would not be learning a lesson if we stopped at 2025, because there's a lesson 
hidden in this problem. So we can actually deal with this. So we're looking for a sum. So this basically is a sum n equals 1 of this product, which is going to be 2n squared plus n. The question is, when are we going to stop? What is the last n? Okay, I just said that 45 squared is 225. 2025, what's that? I don't know how to write 2025. 20, 25. Notice that 2025 is a perfect square. So the floor of this number will be 45. But the floor of any number just before 2025 will be 44. And that's where we're gonna, that's where this guy is because this is just seven less than 25. So where we're gonna stop is at 44. Okay. The problem with this formula again is that if we write it from 1 to 44, what we are claiming is every number after the floor. So what is um, 44 squared? The square of this is going to be 1, 9, 3, 6. Yes. 1,936 is going to be the square of 44. Okay. So if we take the square root of this, we're going to get 44 and the floor is 44. But the next number, 1937, will still have the same floor of 44. So how many numbers are we going to count? We're supposed to count, following this pattern, 44 times 2 plus 1, 89 of them. Until we get to 20, 20, 24. But we do not get to 2024 because otherwise we would use this, this formula would work. We're going to lose some numbers between 2018. Look, so we subtract the numbers that we will not be including. That's going to be six. Okay, just six numbers. So we don't need six numbers in this category. So this is going to be, if we use this formula, we're going to be co computing 89. But we have to subtract the six that are not involved, which is from 2019 to 2024. So we might as well say minus 44 times six. And that's it. So if we can compute this and subtract this, we're good. Okay, let's do this. How do we compute this? Well, because this is a finite sum, and this does not diverge, there's no infinity anyway. I can split this into two different um, sums. So we can say this is the sum from n equals 1 to 44 of, um, <clears throat> what do we have? 2n squared plus the sum from n equals 1 to 44 of n minus 44 times 6. Tap, 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 tap. I don't know. 44 times 5 is 220. If you add 44 again, it's going to be 264. Is that right? Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. 264. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, I'm not sure if that's correct, but that should be right. Okay. Um, so basically, this is what we want. Do we know this? Yes, absolutely. We know the short, oh, we can pull this two to the back actually. Put two here and write this sum one more time. N equals one to 44 of N squared plus the sum N equals one to 44 of N minus 264. So with this, we can say um, the first part here is the sum of the first 44 perfect squares. This is the sum of the first 44 integers. Okay, so all we're saying is for n equals 44. We have our sum is equal to 2 times this formula here is going to be the, the formula for perfect squares, the sum of perfect squares. That's n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1, all over 6, right? Plus 
The formula for this one is going to be n times n plus 1 over 2. And then here we have minus 264. We're going to plug in n equals 44 and then evaluate. So this gives us, this 2 cancels this. So we have 44 times 45 times um, 89. 2 times 44 is 88 plus 189, okay? And then these two cancels this. We have this over 3. Oh, if we have this over 3, then this would be 15. Nice. Okay, we use that to divide this 44. Okay, plus this is 44. So that This divided by 2 gives us 22 times 45 minus 264. I hope this is correct. <laughs> this is scary. Okay. Now, if you ask me if I want to do this manually or I want to use a calculator, I would say I would like to use a calculator. Now, if you are in a competition, just sit down and do the multiplication. Definitely, this is 660 times 89. That's easy to do. Now, the multiplication, I leave it to you. But if you sum this up, you're going to get 58740 plus. If you multiply these two together, you're going to be getting, ah, it's hard. It's going to be 90 plus 900. Am I right? Yes. 990. Oh, I can actually do that. Okay. So it's going to be 990 minus 264. Ah, it's getting easier. So if you do your little arithmetic and you add these together, you get 59,000. 644. So this is the answer to this problem, and um, I hope this made sense to you. If there's a shorter way, please leave it in the comment section. I learn a lot from the comment section. Thank you. Okay. And never stop learning, because those who stop learning, stop living. Bye-bye.